everyone! We are here at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. We've made the trip all the way out to the middle of the desert in the middle of the night. We checked in, we got our room, we did an EVP session in the lobby, and I can't wait to tell you what we heard there, but now we're gonna go into the cemetery. So, come with me. Hello! Hey, hey! We're back! <laughs> Welcome back. Clown that moved, yeah? Totally, yeah. Are all the spirits pretty happy here? Very happy, yeah. yeah. That's why they're here. Yeah. So this is Charlie? Charlie the clown? Charlie the creepy. Charlie creepy Charlie was said to have moved. His hand is moved in a couple of videos. Do we have any energy around Charlie? Charlie the clown, are you here? Alright. We've also heard, oh, we got something. Oh, okay, hey. As soon as we walk into the clown room, starting to really come up here. Let's see if any of these clowns give off any readings specifically. Did they ever do any EVP in here? Like the voices, the ghost box? Yeah. Yeah? Do you ever get anything? Yeah. Yeah? It's on that corner there. Yeah. That corner? Yeah. Do you get any... anything here? Hello? Are there any spirits here with us inside the clown motel? Okay. That could have been something. Get a little closer to Creepy Charlie. This is the clown that said to have moved in the night. Ooh. See, this is the hard part. It's just so much that I can't really hear it, can't understand it. If you're a spirit here at the Clown Motel, can you say hello or can you tell us your name? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, look at that. Hello. All the way up to red. If you are here, if you're a spirit at Clown Motel, can you make it go all the way up to the red? Can you make this meter on my hand go back to red? No. So many noises. All right, well, it went up for a little bit, but now it's not. Okay, let's walk back to the front. I feel like there's so much we're gonna have to listen to later. Yeah. Oh, here Ooh. we go. All the way back up to red. What'd that say? I'm not good at listening to this. I'm not a pro yet. What's that? Ooh. That was good. Is there anything you like to say before we leave the lobby? Ooh. Hello? Was that hello? Yeah, was it a hello? Did you just say hello? Does that leave? Oh, wait. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave the lobby. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. 
It like flashed super, super bright and then it was done. That's crazy. See, the ghost box are kind of creepy. Yeah, that creeped me out. <laughs> Hello everyone! We are here at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. We've made the trip all the way out to the middle of the desert in the middle of the night. We checked in, we got our room, we did an EVP session in the lobby, and I can't wait to tell you what we heard there, but now we're gonna go into the cemetery, so come with me. So in the cemetery, we've got our EMF meter. Basically what this means is it can detect electromagnetic fields. We're gonna turn it on once we get into the cemetery, and then we're gonna do some EVP, see if we can get some voices. It's a bit of a steep trek. Here. We are in front of the Tonopah Cemetery. This cemetery was established in 1901 and ended in 1911. Now, rumor, legend, maybe this pamphlet, has it that most of those buried in the cemetery died in a plague that lasted a couple years and took the lives of many of the townsfolk. There are a lot of Tonopah's residents that are buried here that uh, are here for very sad reasons and were very tragic. So between the plague and a fire in the mine, uh, a lot of people died. We're gonna go into the cemetery and see uh, who's here. First Tonopah Cemetery, 1901 to 1911. Buried here are many of Tonopah's pioneer residents, including 14 victims of the Tonopah Belmont Mine Fire of February 23rd, 1911, as well as victims of the 1902 Tonopah Plague cemetery fenced in 1979 by the Central Nevada Historical Society. Charles Smith, age 33, British Columbia, died in 1906. Some of these graves don't have much on them. size of uh, these plots are maybe two and a half, three feet by three feet, much, much smaller than the plots closer to the motel. And you can see a lot of these graves have toys and stuffed animals that were left on them. Um, so it's very yeah. sad, obviously, to see so many. You can tell that these are definitely shorter. The next step is to find some spirits to communicate with. This has been straight green, totally um, baseline the entire time. Um, there is a possibility, of course, of communicating with spirits anywhere in the cemetery. However, I don't feel like if we're gonna be asking questions and I don't know how to put this without sounding like an asshole, I don't think the infant section is yeah. maybe the best place to start. Uh, to respectfully ask to communicate. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do you want to go maybe that towards uh, my right, your left, and see? All right. So we're heading into more adult-sized graves in the cemetery. We are going to go back up more towards the cemetery entrance, and we're gonna turn on the ghost box, spirit box and see if this changes at all, see if we can get any recorded communication in the form of an EVP uh, in the Town of Falls Cemetery. We've walked around the cemetery um, for about 20 minutes now, and this light has not moved above green. We are going to turn on our spirit box right now, our EVP app, and see if we can communicate with any spirits and see if this light changes. All right, so we're using the Necrophonic app. Um, it's basically just a spirit box app that you can use. You can download it off of your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if this changes at all. All right, so still at a baseline right now. We're gonna wait for a calm spot. Are, th are there any spirits in the Tonopah Cemetery that would, that would like to communicate with us? Yes? Yes. yes, that was a good yes. The spirit that said yes, if there's a spirit that said yes, they would like to communicate. No. no. If you don't want to communicate, you don't have to. 
Are there any other spirits here that would like to communicate? If you, if, if you could, can you move this, this device in my hand? You can move the light. I don't feel anything. There's nothing mm. creepy. I don't think, there's like the no. The lobby was creepy. The, the lobby was way creepier. There's nothing. Let's keep moving. I'm not feeling scared or nothing. No. Ooh. That whisper you want. Yeah. Can anybody, any spirits that are in Konopanga Cemetery, did anyone die in this town? Can you tell us your name? There's a Brandon in the lobby. Do we hear a Brandon? Dave. Dave? Yeah, that was Dave for sure. Is there a spirit named Dave here? Okay, that was the good one. Yeah. That was the good one. I don't know what she said. I don't know. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Dave? Dave again. Dave, if you're, if there's a spirit here named Dave, can you, no? Them. Them? If, an, if there are any spirits here, can you move this meter? This uh, light in my hand? Did that say behind you? It sounded like it said behind you. Did it mean behind you? Did it mean behind me, boo? I'm just like... <laughs> okay, so so far we've had nothing on here. Yeah. We've had... Okay, we're gonna... Okay. In the very back of the cemetery, you can see there are some graves back there that I feel like are completely unmarked. So there might be the oldest burials in the back or maybe the least kept. So I'm a little bit hesitant to walk past this point on the ground right now because I don't want to be disrespectful and walk on any graves. Yeah. Are there graves past where I'm walking right now? It for sure looks like If it. I walked further past where I'm walking right now, Oh my god, did you hear that? I heard that. What was it? That was... I don't know what that was. <gasps> the whisper, who are you? Can the spirit who is whispering, can you say hello? Can you make uh, the EMF meter go off again? Should we walk further? I don't know. Did it say I don't know? No, oh, I said I look. don't know. Should we go off again? Should we walk further this way? Doesn't matter? I don't know if I'm standing on something. <laughs> Whose graves are these? Back here there are there are two lone graves. Whose graves are these? This is babe? Baby? You said babe or baby? Is this a baby's grave? Yes? Uh, it's just I heard yes. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Can you see what that says? Before. Did they just say before? It just said before, right after you said before. 
George. Okay. What? Did you say what? What? Okay, well, if it was 53, he's not a baby. So. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? Can you make that happen again? Can you make the lights go red again? Okay. We have a device where you can communicate. We have two devices. Yes? Please? Please? Did you hear that? Please leave. Okay. Please? Found? I heard please leave again. Do you want us to leave? Nothing. Get out. <laughs> yes? Bro. Nope. That's a nope. That's a no for me. That's a no for Stevie. That's a no. That's a nope. Please. Bye. You <laughs> Wait. Okay. Would you like Stevie and I to leave? Did it say leave again? I don't know. Do you have anything you'd like to communicate with us? Would you like to talk to us? Leave now. Yep. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 Bye. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Let's reassess the lighting here. <laughs> bye. Did you hear that? It just goes really low. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay, give me the camera then. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, okay. <gasps> what? Did you see that? Something? Stay. Stay? Do you want us to stay? We can't understand you. If you'd like us to stay, can you make these colors go off in my left hand? One spirit that likes us to stay and one spirit that wants us to leave? How many times? How many times do you need him to say okay, leave? All right, all right. Really? How many times? One. He said one. Did you hear that? Yep. He said one. He said one. Leave now. Okay. Oh my god. We go this way. <laughs> okay. 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 No. Nope. Yeah. No. No. Oh. I am shaking. Something fierce. Something fierce right now. I'm shaking. I think uh, Stevie and I were just uh, chased out of the Tonopah Cemetery based on some very, very specific <laughs> request from the spirit box. It was awesome. Um, so now we are going to end our time at the Tonopah Cemetery. We may come respectfully. back- Respectfully. Respectfully end our time. We may come back in the daytime so we can see. Um, but right now we're just gonna say thank you so much for your time. We are ending our time with you. We do not invite you to follow us. 
you are not allowed to follow us out. We're leaving. Thank you. Goodbye. Appreciate you. Rest in peace. Good night, Tony Paul. Okay, let's go back to the room. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, you are shaking. No, she just, yeah. um, mm -hmm. how would you um, describe your first ghost hunting experience with me? Does it say enough? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Fuzzles, calm down. So He's what, not calm. Listen, what did I'm they ask to... us? In the, what did they ask us to do? To leave. How many to times? leave, go now. Uh, at least half a dozen times. Mm -hmm. There was someone that said stay, but like I feel like the leave <sighs> one was really a lot more. There one Prominent. that said stay, mm -hmm. and he, the, everyone else was saying leave. One said, now. stay, now. please, his friend need you, stay. You're on your own. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> we just oh. literally ran out of the cemetery ran out yeah no i i don't remember that part <laughs> like do you, do you hand see? hand so the spirits <laughs> said many times leave we asked them to clarify we asked them uh to use this we didn't get as much on this but when we did it was in direct it was, correlation it was yeah it was very um direct it was very direct yeah they we said, had they one leave. one spirit uh said stay please stay then we had multiple multiple saying leave mm -hmm. then she seemed like different voices saying right leave. she said something to the effect of like how many times do they need to ask us to leave and then a voice came on and said one one and that's that was when i took off <laughs> i'm but i took off that was it just one just the one time that was it we left mm -hmm. so we are saying good night um, we will visit uh mrs stay tomorrow yes during, during the day the, in the daytime yeah okay bye the spirits and the energy in the clown motel in the cemetery next door and in the entire city of tonopah are truly remarkable we had an incredible time and we will be back to film more in this creepy establishment known as the scariest motel in the United States. As promised, we made one final trip to the cemetery before heading home. In reviewing the footage and the audio from the night before, we realized that the voices saying stay actually started a lot sooner than we heard them. They started with us at the very beginning of the cemetery, next to the entrance. And the voices saying leave didn't actually start until we got closer to the back, closer to the grave of a man named George, AKA Devil George, buried right next to his wife. So the voice that we thought said before, did it actually say George? And the voices saying leave, were those voices trying to keep us from the man who beat his wife? If you'd like to find out, you know where to go.